Hey, 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 happy, happy Tuesday, or Tuesday, as I now call it. I hope you're having a good one, wherever you are in the world. So today, I'm making Tuesdays a focus on food. So today I'm going to talk about almonds. When I was a, a much younger, I think it might have been around nine or so, we, um, maybe even eight, we moved into this big grand old hundred plus year old house in uh, Murrumbina. And a friend of mine from my primary school that I'd been going to even before we moved there actually lived around the corner from that, which was really great. So sometimes I would walk around on a weekend or something and go and spend time with her because she lived right next door to a park. Um, anyway, one day I noticed while walking um, under, a, there's a corner with this big tree. And one day I noticed all these things all over the ground and I did wonder what they were. Um, so after I finished playing, I collected a few and took them back home and my dad was absolutely delighted because what I had discovered was one of his favorite foods. Um, he showed me then how to take the, the husks off if there were any there and then take the, um, what was it? Oh, the hulls, sorry, the hulls and then the husks. That's right, the, the hulls came off, then the, the husks was the husk, then the hull, whatever it was. And he showed me how to crack the nuts open and we just, gorged on these fresh almonds that had I don't know how long they'd been off the tree for but they were just so delicious and that started my um, desire for almonds I suppose and and I guess I also had found something that made my dad happy so I couldn't get enough of that um, even now to this day I still actually buy my dad scorched almonds like for Father's Day and Christmas and his birthday um, and hi Desiree for thanks for jumping on anyway that was a great great memory and I'm really grateful for having that tree around the corner and for her showing me something that you know that, and giving me something like that it was just incredible so today I thought I'd look more into almonds and their benefits um, Almonds are actually native to the Middle East, but it just so happens that now they're just mostly grown in California for the world market. Um, firstly, yes, I have notes. I always read notes. Uh, firstly, they are a great source of magnesium, manganese and magnesium, copper, vitamin B2, phosphorus and vitamin E. Uh, they're loaded with antioxidants, which is something that protects the body against oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is what causes damage in your molecules in your cells which leads to inflammation aging disease so there's lots and lots of foods that can help with um, oxidative stress and almonds is one of them uh, interestingly enough those properties are mostly contain are actually almost completely contained in the brown outer kind of part of the nut so you need to make sure you're eating this brown part if you want those full benefits um, roasting them toasting them blanching them is also going to reduce greatly the effectiveness of any of the nutritional value in these nuts so these are best eaten raw when they're obviously in season and ripe because if they're not in season and they're not ripe then you can actually get a bit unwell so you're pr pretty much guaranteed if you're buying them from the store you know they're ready for eating if you're picking them up off the ground like I did when I was younger maybe we just got lucky or maybe my dad just knew that they were actually at the right time for eating I did look up the harvesting of almond trees and when when they're ready to drop they they actually go around with the big machines that shake the shit out of the trees and make all those hulls drop to the ground and they actually leave them there for a while to dry out a bit before they do then scoop them all up and prepare them for the market so that's when they're ready they have to have just the right dryness and just the right amount of moisture to be right so what else have I written um, for those of us managing our weight or trying to lose weight, um, almonds are a great ally. In fact, aside from micronutrients that I've already mentioned, the macro content is around one part protein, one part carbs and two and a half parts fat. But as with all nuts, this they contain nutrients that our body struggles to absorb and digest. So this can also mean we're not like the, the calories might be higher than most foods but 
around 10 or 15 percent of those calories we can't even access anyway and this might actually help boost metabolism slightly because we're having to use a bit more energy to deal with nuts um, thanks to the uh, properties of satiation or satiety which one it is they are effective um, aid for weight management and loss and I found a study in 2014 that involved 100 overweight females and those that consumed almonds lost more weight than those that were on a nut-free diet and I believe the only difference between the diets of these two groups were the, the ones that ate the nuts had eight to 50 grams of nuts every day so that was really kind of intriguing if you want to see that study just shoot me a message or comment below and I'll shoot you the link to that study um, so despite being high fat they're actually weight loss, weight loss friendly or weight maintenance friendly other health benefits of almonds um, include lower blood sugar levels reduced blood pressure and lower cholesterol levels um, it helps balance out those cholesterols that we do and don't need so next time you feel need for a snack then consider almonds so unless you're allergic of course this does not apply to you if you're allergic so I have looked up around 14 almonds is 98 calories so most of the snacks I like to eat are between 100 and 200 calories depends on my activity level um, so this is 14 almonds and that's around 98 calories and remember what I said is that we don't absorb all those calories anyway so it probably might work out to 80 calories so if I combine that with a big cup of tea which I just did it before I had a cup of orange and cinnamon tea and about 14 of these almonds and I felt satisfied which is really nice so um, oh and it can and it will keep me fueled for a couple more hours so if, if you're one of those people that has afternoon slumps or something and you know around what time you have an afternoon slump then half an hour before that time grab yourself 14 almonds and a drink of water or a drink of herbal tea and um, chew them mindfully chew them slowly enjoy the experience enjoy the flavors and see how you go see if that helps you get through that afternoon energy slump anyway I hope that was helpful to someone today and if you think it might be helpful to anyone else feel free to share my video and again if you want to see that uh, scientific study the the link to that i'm happy to share that too because i like to put my money where my mouth is <laughs> and thank you desiree thanks for sitting through and watching it i really appreciate it i'm really grateful for that um have a really great day and then i'll talk to you later bye